All right, DNS exam number four, problem number four. They've given you a function right here, f of x is equal to three plus the absolute value of x minus two, and ask you to come up with the value, the numerical value of f prime of two. Now, if you were a little confused as to how to do this problem, you probably started thinking, okay, I gotta find f prime of x before I can find f prime of two. And in most cases, you'd be right. But in a problem like this, where they've given you a function that's defined in terms of an absolute value, we need to remember that there really is no good way to differentiate an absolute value function because absolute value functions are not really naturally occurring functions. They're kind of weird, they're man-made, and they follow different rules. So I think probably the best thing to do is to try to do this one graphically here. So if we think about this equation right over here, three plus the absolute value of x minus two, and we tried to graph this, thinking about our h and our k, our vertex here would be at the ordered pair of two, three. And now that I see that, I think I know the answer to this question already. So the vertex of this absolute value v is gonna be at the point two, three, right here in the first quadrant. Our a value is one, so that means that this is a normal upward opening v with a slope of 1 and then a slope of negative 1 over here on the other side. And the question they're asking us right here is what is the value of the derivative of this function right here where x is equal to 2? Well, if it was anywhere to the right of two, like for example, when x was equal to four, the derivative would be found by the slope of the tangent, which would just equal one. If it was any value less than two, like, oh, I don't know, f prime of zero, it would just be the slope of this tangent ray, which would be negative one. But at this one spot right over here, uh, the unofficial word we used back when we learned about this was a corner. We've got a spot right here where two different tangent rays come together. Our right-hand tangent ray here has a slope of one, our left-hand tangent ray has a slope of negative one. And because the left and right-hand derivatives do not agree with each other right there at two, this is a spot of non-differentiability. In fact, the only spot of non-differentiability on this function. So therefore, our derivative at the vertex here does not exist. And undefined is the answer that was given to us as option D for problem number four.